Hi my lovely friends! I know it's been a super long time since I have uh, put out a video, but um, I just wanted to say, you know, from my last video that I did um, talking about my daughter's lupus and how we were busy dealing with that, um, she's doing a lot better. We've had still have several doctor appointments that we have to keep to make sure that everything is going smoothly. Um, we now have got, um, had to go to the eye doctor because with some of the medications that she's taking, it can affect her eyesight. So um, when we went to the eye doctor at the beginning of January, they had, or the end of, end of December, beginning of January, I don't know, my days are all mixed up, so I don't know. Um, but anyway, they said that she has high ocular pressure, which means it's kind of along the lines of um, people who have glaucoma. Um, so the pressure in your eye, is, if it's high, it's just not good, and you could have glaucoma. So anyway, now she's on eye drops four times a day in addition to all the medication she has to take. Um, and then, um, you know, she's since we were in the hospital, she's never, ever, like, swallowed pills or anything. So everything that we have had for medication has been liquid um, or a, a suspension or whatever. Um, so one of her medications, which, yeah, we're still trying to figure out how to pay for all this stuff, this medication from when she was in the hospital. But one of the medications that she has to take, and it's uh, a strictly a lupus medication that um, she's going to have to take for the rest of her life, in the suspension form, is way expensive, like thousands of dollars. And that's even after um, insurance would pay for it. Well... It's the beginning of the new year, so the beginning of the new year ne means that um, you have to reset your deductible and out-of-pocket. So needless to say, uh, Annika's going to learn real quick um, how to take more pills than liquid or suspensions because according to some of the websites I have seen, it is a significant difference in price from suspensions to um, tablets or capsules. So um, she is going to be seeing a doctor, um, her nephrologist doctor next week to go over um, you know, our monthly update. We only are down to seeing her uh, once a month for now until Annika goes into remission. And I'm going to ask her to rewrite the prescription um, into capsules or tablets, depending on what dosage she needs and what it comes in, um, so that we can save some money, because I surely do not have thousands of dollars to spend on medications every single month. I, I don't make that much money at all. Um, anyway, so that was an update on Annika. She's doing way better um, back at school now after the winter break, um, all of December, I had her homeschooled just to kind of get her past the beginnings of like sickness season and she doesn't need to be around any sick kids. Um, so I figured having her home during December and then through winter break um, would kind of give her an advantage of not getting sick. Um, she did very well while she was here, but I'm so glad she is back at school and back with her friends and kind of back to a normal, our new normal now, I guess. You know, we wake up and take meds and get ready for school from there. And then when I pick her up from school, there's more meds and then before bed, more meds. But we are dealing. We're getting there. It's it's okay. I mean, she's do, she's a rock star. Like I've always said, she's so good at it. And her numbers are coming down in the lab work. So we're praying, praying to the heavens that she'll be in remission soon. And then we will be down to going to see the doctors every three months. Um, we're already 
with the rheumatologists we're already there every three months we're visiting them the nephrologists we have to see more often because the type of lupus that Annika has affects her kidneys and she's at stage four so we have to like follow them a little more closely um, and then her eye doctor I mean just I guess depending on how her you know eye stuff comes along right now we're at seeing them every month so I'm hoping it gets better that we don't have to go to so many visits but like I said we're dealing we're getting there it's all good um, thank you for everyone's prayers and warm wishes and thoughts about her and how we're dealing um, it's really 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 heartwarming I really really appreciate it um, Wesley he's like gonna be a year already in one month on February 18th he's one year already it's crazy he is let's see crawling pulling himself up on things like furniture and stuff um, obviously excuse me sorry about that um, obviously having um, sitting up by himself trying to feed himself with his hands um what else i don't know it's crazy this year has flown by and this kid is growing up so fast he's already almost 30 inches i can't believe that it's just he's so tall he's not chunky at all he's like really height to weight proportioned so very excited to see him grow up but very sad that it's going so fast so um that's a little bit about our life right now and then let me show you what I got today I'm so excited so as you all know Daralia is like one of my favorite licorice brands and a while back I was lucky enough to win an Instagram contest and I won a big package of Daralia licorices. And they had strawberry and they had grape. And it was just delicious. Anyway, um, like a month ago, I think now, I received something in, the, um, like in my email or something like that um, that said fill out the survey for us, et cetera, et cetera. And for filling out the survey, they sent me this box. As you can see, I mean, like, it's a pretty big box. Okay, so we're going to open it together. I'm sorry about my wobbly hands. See if I can, like, set you up on something while I'm opening this. See if I can figure something out here. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Hmm. Okay, hold on. I'm going to get there, people. I'm going to get there. We're going to figure this out. I can engineer stuff. I right, know if that stays for me, we'll be golden. All right. So anyway, let me get to go in here. You can see my... <gasps> okay, this is what they sent me, dude. Look at this it is like heaven in a box eight packages of my strawberry flavored licorice oh my gosh you guys if you have not tried this please try it it's so good you can now get these at the real twists at some targets, I know not all targets have them, but some targets do. Otherwise, they have the, um, they're like bite size, bite size, <laughs> bite size little licorice bites. And I know they have those at all the targets in the candy aisle. Anyway, how exciting! Yay! Not sponsored, I promise you. <laughs> um, but this is awesome. Like, I love them so much. 
So, um, anyway, that, anyway, so, um, yeah, how exciting is that? That's like my favorite thing ever, and that'll last me a really long time. Although I said I would share with my sister, but I don't know if she's able to eat them because she's kind of all keto right now. Yeah, it's very carby. Probably not so good for her. But it'll last me a while, and that's fine with me. <laughs> um, oh, and talking about keto. I'm not on keto. <laughs> not that it's not great for some people, just not great for me. But I did start after the new year of, um, you know, my end of the year being as crappy as it was. I did not eat very well. We were in the hospital. I ate hospital food, drank coffee, flu flu beverages almost every day. Um, I scarfed a lot of cookies during the uh, Christmas holiday. I had my whole entire awesome family here uh, at my house for Christmas, like cousins and aunts and uncles and cousins' kids and like everybody. It was so fun. I thought it was a great time, but I literally overindulged on the cookies Cookies are my downfall. Like, I love cookies. I could eat them all day, every day. So as of the first of the year, like everyone else in the whole entire world, I decided again, like every year, to try to lose weight. And for the first week, it was eh. I didn't really get strict with myself and I didn't really follow anything. But I want to tell you guys something. This week I started on Monday and I decided to kind of do my own thing and just kind of eat healthier. But also I went and not really signed up, but I did the free app for Noom, N-O-O-M. If you have not been in it, I've used so many other apps. I've used Weight Watchers app when I was on Weight Watchers, and I'm not anymore, so I don't have the app. I've used my Fitness Pal, which to me was, it was too hard to, f I don't know. For some reason, I could not deal with it. It wasn't like, it was probably easy, and I just probably was like, Meh, whatever. Um, I try, let's see, I used to do Spark People. I've used so many apps. But anyway, on the Numa app, which is a little thing that I found that was different than other apps, was that not only could I track all the food I was eating, even they have the barcode scanner if you don't want to type it in. It saves like each meal that you've had. So if you eat that same meal the next day, you can say just, you know, add whatever meal that I had this other day as a meal today. Um, and they have, see, I haven't looked at the recipe builder portion, but I think they might have something like that. I don't know for sure. I don't pay for it, so it might be in the pay for portion. But it tracks my food. It tells me what kinds of foods I'm eating. And it gives me like, like a, like a max, like for, there's green foods, yellow foods, and red foods. Red foods, obviously, you don't want to eat a lot of. Yellow foods are moderate. Green foods are good. And it's not green foods like they're all vegetables, <laughs> okay? Which is what I kind of thought, and when I was explaining it to my mom, that's what she thought. She's like, oh, green foods like, you know, lettuce and carrots and celery and, you know, all the vegetables. And I was like, no, because... My bread that I have, that I used, that I'm using now, is uh, the Sara Lee Delightful 45 Whole Grain, Whole Wheat Bread, is a green food. So what's interesting about it is it shows me how much red food I'm eating as compared to the yellow food and the green food. So while I could be in my caloric like like realm or whatever they have me between 1200 and 1590 calories a day it tells me how much of the bad food i'm eating 
So if even if I'm in my my calorie range, some of that food could be just like really bad, really bad red foods, and that I could probably be eating more food if I eat the yellows and the greens. So it's really making me conscious of what I'm putting in my body and telling me like, hey, this is a red food. Maybe you could look to see if there's an alternative because it tells you right before you even add it to your um, to your day or your meal or whatever meal you're going to put it at. Um, so say I wanted to put on like tortillas and tortillas come up as red food. Well, maybe I could opt out a tortilla, like a normal flour tortilla for like a corn tortilla. I don't know how that comes up. I didn't look at it. Or like a low carb wrap instead of a tortilla. You know, it's just different things that I can look into um, in the future to maybe get myself under more of the greens and yellows and less under the reds. So very proud of myself for that. Um, I am still kind of doing a little Herbalife. Um, kind of doing, you know, like a morning shake if I can get myself to drink one again. Um, or find the time to make it and I'm not super starving enough to want to eat actual food. Um, and I'm just drinking more water and just trying to go from there. I just really, I don't want a diet, so I'm trying to like train myself to eat better instead of like limiting my foods or, you know, saying I can only have this, I can only have that. And like that just doesn't work for me. You tell me I can't do something and I want to do it more. So just training my brain to think a little uh, more consciously and uh, doing that. We'll see how it goes. It's not, a, you know, it's a marathon. It's not a race. So I don't expect that I'll be at my goal weight by like my birthday in six months. But maybe in a year or two. Maybe. You never know. Anyway, I just wanted to pop in, um, get out a video, and tell you what's going on. Um, get you up to date so far. I will try my hardest to get out uh, another video in the next couple weeks. Um, other than that, I appreciate you guys watching and following me. And I love you guys. And I hope you have a fantastic day. It's Thursday today for me. So I don't know when you're, you're watching this. But um, the weekend's coming and it's going to be a good one. Awesome. Love you guys. Click subscribe. Um, Notify. Uh, click the notifications if you want to be notified when I put up a video. Um, and like this video. Give me some comments down below if you want. I'm always here to talk. Okay, love you guys. Have a good day. Bye.